Hide lie. Just saying the name gives you a gag reflex like you're about to puke. Hide lie. Sounds so rich and foul. Maybe it's pronounced head lie, but who knows? And who even knows what the fuck it means? It's a typical adventure game where you play as a guy with a sword who has to explore a fantasy world, fight monsters, collect treasures, and rescue a princess. Picking up a game like this in itself is like embarking on an adventure. You can stick to the familiar NES classics, or you can be a brave explorer in search of the unknown. You might uncover a gem or a turd covered in vomit. And this is a turd covered in vomit. While the concept isn't very unique, the first thing you see is a dragon that shoots fire at a princess, making her explode into three fairies. I've never seen that happen. As soon as you start playing the game, the first thing that comes to anybody's mind is Legend of Zelda. Now be prepared, we're going to reference Zelda an awful lot. It seems like Hyde Lie would have ripped off Zelda, but actually Hyde Lie came first on the PC-88, which was a home computer in Japan. It came out on the NES after, following in Zelda's wake. Imagine buying this game based on its cover, expecting something as good as Zelda, and then going home and playing it, and finding out it's a piece of shit. If there's anything this game truly ripped off, it's the music. It's just a variation on the Indiana Jones theme, and it never stops. It's like winding up a music box and letting it play for an eternity, except for the last screen, which also sounds like Indiana Jones. Let's get down to the gameplay. Attacking is a joke. You're supposed to hold down the A button and run into the monsters. In Zelda, you actually see the sword come out. But here, there's nothing. Did they forget to animate it? Am I supposed to use my imagination like a fucking board game? When you kill something, they just disappear. Nothing happens. They don't burst or make a sound effect or do anything to make you feel the satisfaction of killing an enemy. There's no skill involved. You'll never know whether or not you're hitting the monster or the monster's hitting you. It's just as random as rolling the dice or playing the lottery. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But I guess it's better than using drugs or alcohol because with drugs and alcohol, especially drugs, you always lose. If you're lucky, your experience will go up. But it only goes up one pixel at a time. If you want to level up, you gotta fill up the whole bar. This is what it looks like in fast speed. But can you imagine how long it takes to do this? You can't, unless you play it. You can also do a magic attack by pressing the B button. But it's really confusing. You have to scroll through your different magic spells, and when you get to the spell you want, hit the A button to beat attack mode, and then hit B to cast the spell. By the time you do all that, you're already dead. Hey, what the fuck is this? Am I fighting a rock? Whenever you die, take a guess what happens. You go back to the beginning. Yep, it's one of those games. No extra lives, no continues, you don't get diddly dick. There is a password system, but it's the most perplexing, back ass, and unorthodox use of a password I've ever seen in a game. First, you bring up the menu and go to save. That sounds pretty simple, right? You just save the game. But no, that's not at all how it works. All save does is give you a password. But it doesn't show you the password, and you'll never even know it's there until you go down to password. And there you go. Now you gotta write the fucking thing down. The time it takes to write it down and then re-enter it is almost the same time it takes to just start the game over. What were they thinking? They couldn't come up with a better way? How about just giving me the password after I die? How about extra lives? How about a continue option? Or even better, how about a battery backup like in Zelda and actually making save really save? the game. Load? When would I ever want to load a game from within the game? If I die, I'd be doing this from the main menu screen with the password option. Unlike the password option from the menu within the game, which gives you the password that you got from the save option. Speed? Do I really care what that does? Game? Does that let me pick a different game? Because that would be a good fucking idea. Even if you get used to this whole password fiasco, figuring out how to play the game is a puzzle itself. There's treasure chests, which some you can open and others you can't. Sometimes you go into dark caves, but this is suicide because you're just gonna run in the walls and get killed by fireballs. And sometimes you just die at complete random. There's probably something in the dark killing me, like a rat or some kind of pitfall. Who knows? You can't see it unless you get a lantern. To get the lantern, you have to kill a vampire. How you kill the vampire? Oh, the cross, of course. Oh wait, what the hell? Oh, you gotta hit him from the back. Ugh. Anyway, I got the lantern. Now I'm going back to that dark cave to figure out what the fuck was killing me. I don't see anything, so that only concludes there was nothing. That's a cheat if I ever saw one. The game kills you with nothing. Anyway, you make it through this maze and get a stronger sword. You write down the password, die, enter the password, pick up where you left off, make it a few steps further, write down the next password, die, re-enter the password, and repeat. You collect a pot, a jewel, and fairies from random trees. Then you go across the desert to the castle, which works you the water, and you swim the island with the two wizards, hit them with the wave magic at the same time, obviously. The three fairies fly you the island, burn the bush, grab the gravestone, kill the dragon, get the jewel, go back to the castle, kill the last guy, <sighs> and you win. Do I feel accomplished? No, I feel like this game just wasted my fucking time, making me have to figure out all this cryptic shit. That's not to say Zelda didn't have its own cryptic shit. You have to burn a bush to reveal a staircase, and there's thousands of bushes where it could have been. There's a lake where you have to use a flute, a statue that you have to push, and a specific rock where you're supposed to lay a bomb. I'm only raising the question. What is it we love about all the puzzle solving that goes on in Zelda? Perhaps it wasn't as hard to figure out. Maybe there were more clues within the game, and people discuss this game much more, sharing all the secrets. But I do have to admit, my first time playing through Zelda, I got stumped a lot too. Maybe it just boils down to the fact that it's a much more well-designed game, and it's fun, so you enjoy playing through it and trying to figure it all out. High Glide just doesn't have the same fulfillment. It's a mediocre adventure game with some serious flaws. And that's what you get for reaching into the dark depths of the NES library. You might as well be reaching into a dog's asshole. Because all you're going to find is shit.